All right, everybody, we are back from the break. Yep, back from the break. So this next one, have you seen this series? Yes. I know. I, did you see the thumbnail, too? Can you, I don't know if you can kind of make out the thumbnail. But, um, no, I can see what it is. I haven't seen this particular right, um, I, advertisement, um, but I'm very familiar with the... Look at that thumbnail, story. though. Look at that. So when I saw the thumbnail, I thought that it was a video game. Okay. And I'm I'm sure that it's going to look better. Like I'm, so I you guys can't you guys can't see it, but I'm making it bigger, the thumbnail bigger and it doesn't look bad when you make it bigger, but from a distance I was like, "Wait, that looks really much like a video game." Um, okay. This is awesome. Anyway. Yeah, I'm excited for this just based on the name. Yeah, so so let's just jump right in because we're holding everyone in suspense unless they're watching this on YouTube, in which case they can see the title of the video. But <laughs> let's check it out. We're watching the trailer for Mike's After Action Reviews is proud to partner with Purple Works Nutrition. They sell pre-workout manufactured right here in the U.S. It has no artificial flavors or preservatives and has a simple, effective, and easy-to-understand list of ingredients, unlike some other pre-workouts and supplements. Each scoop contains 200 milligrams of high-quality caffeine, 3 grams of creatine, and 1.5 grams of high-end carnosine beta-alanine to grant the energy and produce the strength needed to crush your workouts, and vitamin D and C to aid in and support immune health, muscle health, and tissue repair. You can find this pre-workout at purpleworksnutrition.com. You will find a link in the description down below. Purple Works Nutrition also sells Muratino brand coffee on their website. So if you are interested in award-winning coffee blends imported from Italy, you can find that there as well. Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes official teaser trailer 2024 Owen Teague Freya Allen. Coming at us from IGN, we're going to like the video. Check out the teaser trailer for Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes, an upcoming movie starring the people that we already mentioned. Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes is set several generations in the future following Caesar's reign, in which apes are the dominant species living harmoniously, and humans have reduced to living in the sh have been reduced to living in the shadows. As a new tyrannical ape leader builds his empire, one young ape undertakes a harrowing journey that will cause him to question all that he has known about the past and to make choices that will define a future for apes and humans alike. King Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes, directed by Wes Ball, opens in theaters on 24... March 20... Or sorry, May 24, 2024. Okay, cool. So, so this is what we go to the theaters to see. Yeah, this, this looks cool. Let's go. Cool. Cool. Who is Wes Ball? Let me see. By the way, don't name your kids yeah. Wes. I mean, I'm sure this guy is, 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 is a nice guy and everything, but he says weird yeah. name. Uh, okay, so nothing huge. I mean, the Maze Runner series, um, I think, was popular, but not like, you know, not everybody has seen it. Not every, It wasn't a massive success, so but it was, it was pretty good, pretty good uh, series Maze as far Runner? as I understand, even financially. The only thing that I would say is Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes. I would think that they could come up with a better name. Maybe Reign of the Planet of the Apes. Planet of the Apes, Genesis. In the beginning, there was God, and God was the apes, and the apes was with God. I don't know. No, in the beginning, there was so the this apes. Following the last movie, though, I mean, this is in this is in yes. order. Like, yeah. it's the follow-up. Of, it's leading off the last one. Yeah, the sequel. It's the sequel. This is the, the beginning way. of like the. Well, no, I suppose it's not. They've. Yeah, this is this is where already, so the, the 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 Planet of the Apes movies with Caesar and everything was him basically mm -hmm. taking over the world, and then this is mm -hmm. what happened after he took over the world. This is like in the future and how right. the apes have been doing. So it says a few generations. So no, by the way, if if I were to use the Genesis thing correctly, it would be in the beginning there were the apes and the apes apes were with God and the apes were God. But no, I, I don't. I'm just saying. Um, but anyway, just Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes just sounds a little bit wordy for me. Maybe Reign of the Planet of the Apes. I don't I mean, know. I think it makes sense. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, yeah. Um, Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes. It's a bit weird. Okay, anyway, so we've got a 1 minute 45 second trailer. Are you ready? Ready. The action pack needs you. 
You can support Mike's After Action Reviews on our Patreon for as little as $3 a month. Every quarter, once we've made at least $200, we're going to be giving away 10% of our earnings from Patreon in a giveaway over on our Twitch, so go check that out as well. You can find all of the links for everything in the description and in the pinned comment down below. Do your part. Support the pack. The action pack. Here we go. Let's see how they do without uh, Andy Circus. Those are called dreams. Not memories. <laughs> New things. All right. Everything. So, just to clarify this, in the thumbnail kind of looked like a video game thumbnail when it was really small. It was like a tiny little thing like this and I saw it on the screen. But here the CGI actually looks pretty good. So, this is nice. <laughs> that is not everything. Okay. Memorial Day. Okay. Got a good cast here. Ooh. This is why it's the kingdom of the planet of the apes, because the humans are the animals now. Right, right. I just... And then there's the new guy. And you can see they're all... So in, in, the, in the Planet of the Apes series, some of the apes started to learn to speak. And then the humans were losing the ability to speak. It's so like that was some... So, so that's actually the reason why humans fell. I guess you would say is fell. Is because even though the apes were intelligent, like they don't have... You can see they're not like driving cars, building rocket ships and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, but the thing is, is that the disease... The virus that makes the apes intelligent kills humans. And then the humans it didn't kill, it started to regress. I don't know if you remember this from the th from the original trilogy. But the, the humans, like Woody, Al Woody Harrelson, not Woody Allen, Woody Harrelson in the, in the last Planet of the Apes movie with Caesar, I forget the name of it, but he started to lose the ability to speak because the, the virus was... <laughs> Was and so that's why human. I don't know. Are humans going to? The question to me is: Are humans going to be able to speak in this movie? Are they going to become more animalistic, like it, the progression that they kind of set up in the original trilogy? Right. Yeah. I don't know when Planet of the Apes came out originally, but I know it was like before my time. Like when I was a kid, and I remember seeing that there was like old school Planet of the Apes. Very yeah. This looks more like what I saw from back in the day, like like with, they had with James the Franco. Human. Up. They, they didn't have any um, prequel, you know, this, the story of how Caesar, you know, was experimented on. They just had, like, the apes, um, the kingdom of you know, the apes, but the humans being in cages. I think that's yeah, you're talking started. about... That's what... That's I was just saying... Like. Are you talking about... You're talking about, like, the old, old black and white Planet of the Apes movies? Okay, because I was like thinking, like... Original, I'm, yeah, Okay, yeah, because I was talking about the James Franco Andy Circus trilogy, but but yeah, no, exactly. So this is all this yeah. whole series is a is a prequel to the to the old school black and white. For one. sure, and so now it looks like we're getting into that, like we're getting into yeah. where they start. Yeah. So yeah. that's cool. Yep. Yeah, this looks like it's going to be good. This looks like it's going to be good. I hope I hope it's good. The big thing, so as as you can see, like the the cast. Looks really good. Um, the cast looks well. It uh, looks like it's going to be really good. The looks well done. Um, the CGI looks good. So then the big thing that it's going to be is going is 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 the writing, and the dialogue. 
of how the you know the writing for the story and then the characters dialogue that's the big thing so coming out let me yeah. see so i'll be watching the it's in may i think uh memorial day whoever remembers when memorial day is no. um yeah it's uh may 24th may 24th yeah so i'll be watching the other play of the apes movies in preparation for this one in theater yeah yeah, this looks cool. This does look cool. I am liking this. All right, cool. So, yeah, I mean, that's kind of our thoughts. Like, I, I, I'm i excited. I think it looks good. It's going to be weird without having um, Caesar. I wonder if... Is Andy Serkis involved in any way? Because Andy Serkis, anytime that anybody has, is a CGI character, you know, with a human-like face, or actually, they don't even necessarily have to have a human-like face. Do you remember the original, the Jack Black King Kong movie? Andy mm -hmm. Serkis was the, was the ape. Uh, Andy Serkis was was um, Snoke from the Star Wars movies. Andy Serkis was Gollum. Andy Serkis was Caesar. So it's like I, I'm surprised that they actually didn't bring him back to play as an ape in this one. Or you know what you know what I mean. But cool. All right, let's check out what the comments yeah. have to say about this. Let's see. I'm glad they kept up with the original timeline. This looks like a solid fourth installment, but more importantly, it looks perfect for the connection to the Heston movies. Charleston Heston, yeah. That's that's what you're saying. That's what you were saying, so that's awesome to... Yeah. Is that uh, it's going to connect... the? It's going to bridge the gap between the originals... And this is... Yeah, it's... Th you know what? Th you know what that means? That means that this series <laughs> here, like this movie, it looks like it's going to be better than the than the sequel series of Star Wars. Like if you think about like Planet of the Apes, the originals, then they made Planet of the Apes, the prequels. <laughs> now we're getting Planet of the Apes, the sequels. <laughs> and, and, yeah, and, getting uh, back into it. Yes. Yeah. Keep going with it. So that means that probably the Planet of the Apes cinematic universe is going to have is going to be better executed than the star wars was star wars is a smoking smoking crater right now what it used to be um definitely one of the few franchises that always delivers uh let me see i'm you know what i'm waiting for is a video game i'm waiting for a video game that that's basically yeah don't they have one though no no they don't they do not have a they have like a there was a there was a telltale game well, they, so yes, Telltale game where you play as an ape. But what I want is I want like a like an open world game where you play as an ape that can pick up guns or use melee weapons or even just beat people up. Maybe probably just beat people up with your fists and get into combat. And you have to like go around and maybe build stuff or do so. I don't know something. It would be so cool to play as an strategize. ape. Strategize. You gotta get the apes to like yeah, strategize with you to. Yeah, like going like on the raids. Tower defense, maybe. <laughs> Yeah. What? Not at the. Oh, well. Anyway. Tower yeah. Going on. RPG. Going on. Yeah. Going on raids with Sweet. with other apes. You know, riding horses. Yeah. Uh, it's been a while since I've been hyped for a movie, and this movie's looking pretty hype. Uh, crazy how the first one of this series came out way back in 2011. Every subsequent movie after just got better and better, and that really is true. I've really liked. I've really liked these movies so far. So yeah. Yeah. I think this is great. Uh, seeing Caesar's son as the new leader is so perfect. I honestly love this new franchise. Glad I'm gonna. Glad it's still going strong. I don't. That can't be. I don't think so. That can't be Caesar's son because this is several generations. So mm -hmm. it would be. It would be interesting to see if one of these old characters, like one of these older apes, is. Or maybe if the main character was of the line of Caesar, you know what I'm saying? Like if this was sure. Caesar's great great grandson, oh. or it, like the orangutan too. I wonder if that's you know, like a related related to the buddy. to the um to his buddy, yeah. Or but it would be cool to see like a, like e either either like Caesar's son is really old now, and he and he comes in and he says right. like, "You're evil. I'm gonna fight you," or I'm or or you need to stop. Or um, if if you were to see that one of Caesar's line rises up and says, "I'm I'm I'm not gonna let," because it looks like they're, they're trying to make it out like this guy is a bad guy. They said he's a tyrant. Yeah. So, yeah, but man, the, the CGI story. actually does look the CGI does look good. That's not a gorilla. That's a chimp. That looks like a gorilla to me. No, I don't think it's a gorilla. 
That's got to be a chimp. He, I think it's just a really big chimp. That's a really big chimp. Okay, from the back, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I from behind. I wonder if I wonder if a if a um, a horse could actually carry the weight of a six hundred pound gorilla. <laughs> That's something I liked in the, in the last movie in the series is that you see the gorilla jumps down off a tower or something and lands on a horse, and I was like, <laughs> even if that <laughs> horse half and falls <laughs> over on the ground. Yeah, oh my God. <laughs> I'm like even if even if a horse could hold your weight normally, jumping, uh, yeah, like imagine it realistically, it would have been like you <laughs> <laughs> just fell and died, <laughs> like, <laughs> and, and, then, and then and then while the chimps are riding their horse, it, like you like look over and it's the gorilla carrying the ho- his horse and he's running, <laughs> like oh we got to get out of here, come on horse, you're gonna make it. <laughs> Anyway, um, (laughs) yeah, so look, guys, this is the last movie and series trailer that we have today. So we're going to move forward into video games. So let's move on to the next one. (laughs) Oh, Lord. Let's move on to the next one. Here we go. Don't forget to check me out on Twitch and join the Discord where you can voice chat with me while a live stream and you won't be recorded or anything on YouTube and Twitch. So that's pretty cool. You can also find me on Facebook and Instagram. If you like to read, you can see my after-action reports on my blog. And if you are interested, you can get some merch from my Spring store. The links for everything are in the description below.